inside the doorway. Good evening from Boston, Massachusetts. We are broadcasting live from the Republic Broadcasting Network, where you can handle the truth. My name is Frank Allen. Tonight, we discuss a work by Momir Babacek. But first, Joining Targeted Massachusetts is free. Just go to targetedmassachusetts.org and at the top of the page, go to Join TM. Please complete the easy registration form. By joining, you receive our newsletter, text updates, and the latest developments in our targeted situation. While you're on that page... You can donate to Targeted Massachusetts and help us to continue our activism. We are a legal organization in the state of Massachusetts. If you have any questions on this or anything else, call me anytime in the U.S. at 1-508-857-8334. Call into the show live and ask a question at 800-313-9443 or listen at 605-313-0163. I'd like to speak about a very stellar organization. Their name is Targeted Justice. They are heard quite often in the targeted community. If you'd like to join, just go to targetedjustice.com. Up in the left-hand corner, you will see home. Hover over that, and you will see meet the team and become a member. Click or tick on become a member, and you're on your way. Remember, targetedjustice.com, targetedjustice.com. Targeted Massachusetts Northeast Conference airs Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Access by phone, 515-604-9715. Access code 708-922. ID, targeted. If you'd like to access our show by computer, that's very easy, no matter where you are. In your address bar, type freeconferencecall.com forward slash wall forward slash targeted. Or you can go and download the app, which is the best way. Our YouTube channel is Targeted Massachusetts. Just go to YouTube and in the search bar, type Targeted Massachusetts, and you will see past broadcasts. We have a chat associated with the show at targetedmass.chatango.com. For those of you who are following it, the Schumann Resonance is at 34 hertz today. The nominal or nominal is 7.83 hertz. Quite a jump. 
I just wanted to go over briefly the four human rights that we went over last evening. And that is the right to cognitive liberty, the right to mental privacy, the right to mental integrity, and the right to psychological continuity. And that's what we went over last evening. And we had Marilyn join us at the bottom of the hour. Tonight, a work by Momir Babacek. His name appears in many searches. If you look up magnetic torture or electronic torture or R&M, his name will come up. He frequently uses parts of his works over, and it's just to re-emphasize what he is trying to get across. And we have two terms here that you should learn. One of them is efference copy. This is a psychophysical term, and it is actually the delay between your eardrum and the end of processing in your brain. Now, the perps gain nanoseconds over what you hear because they go directly to your cochlea. So they are ahead of us by nanoseconds right there. And somehow they accumulate to the point where they are way ahead of us. You can learn about much of these topics in a paper called Cochlear Micronics. It is said that the perpetrators use certain portions of your throat and ear to emulate a microphone. So the term is cochlear micronics, also the title to the paper. And the first one is efference. Just take reference and knock the RE off and add a capital E, and it's efference copy. And the second one is cochlear micronics. Okay, in October 2000, Congressman Dennis J. Kucinich introduced in the U.S. House of Representatives a bill which would oblige the American president to engage in negotiations aimed at the ban of space-based weapons. In this bill, the definition of a weapons system included the following. And this is a paper that you people should write and ask me for or Google it, whatever you can do. Because this is proof that we have a congressman who knows what's going on and knew years ago. So in this bill, the definition of a weapons system included any other unacknowledged or as yet undeveloped means inflicting death or injury on or damaging or destroying a person or the biological life, bodily health, mental health, or physical 
and economic well-being of a person. Notice they put in their economic. This is because the perpetrators asset strip their victims as well. Through the use of land-based, sea-based, or space-based weapon systems using radiation, electromagnetic, psychotronic, sonic, laser, or other energies directed at individual persons or targeted populations for the purpose of information war, mood management, or mind control of such persons or populations. Now, that's a very important statement by a congressman of the United States of America. So, why hasn't the United States adopted those first four human rights? Chile has just adopted them. As in all legislative acts quoted in this article, the bill pertains to sound, light, or electromagnetic stimulation of the human brain. Psychotronic weapons belong, at least for a layman, uninformed of secret military research in the sphere of science fiction since so far none of the published scientific experiments has been presented in a meaningful way to world public opinion. Kept in secret kept in secret from the taxpayers, we the people, everyone. They also claim here that it is feasible to manipulate human behavior with the use of subliminal, either by sound or visual messages is now generally known and acknowledged by the scientific community. So, in addition, right now or then, to just one congressman, we have the scientific community worldwide who knows all about it. This is why in most countries the use of such technologies without the consent of the individual concerned is in theory banned. Needless to say, the use of these technologies is undertaken covertly without the knowledge or consent of targeted individuals. Devices using light for the stimulation of the brain constitute another mechanism whereby light flashing under certain frequencies can be used to manipulate the human psyche. As for the use of sound, a device transmitting a beam of sound waves, which can be heard only by persons at whom the beam of sound waves is targeted. This has been reported in several news media articles. In this case, the beam is formed by a combination 
of sound and ultrasound waves which cause the targeted person to hear the sound around him. Such a procedure could affect the mental balance of the targeted individual as well as convincing him that he is, so to speak, mentally ill. Countless individuals in the United States have checked themselves into mental facilities because they thought that they were crazy. These are people that unfortunately did not find the targeted community in a timely manner. This article examines the development of technologies and knowledge pertaining to the functioning of the human brain and the way new methods of manipulation of the human mind are being developed. One of the main methods of manipulation, as you all know or have heard, is electromagnetic energy. In the declassified scientific literature, only some 30 experiments have been published supporting this assumption. Already in 1974, in the USSR, after successful testing within a military unit in Novosibirsk, the radio song was registered with the government committee on matters of inventions and discoveries of the USSR. This is described as a method of induction of sleep by means of radio waves. This particular discovery is a part of the technology that is used today. Okay, people, we are going to commercial. I'll be back in three minutes. Thank you. Folks, we're living in a world the likes of which we've never perceived any clearer than we do now. The plan for global governance has been in the works for generations and would have likely been achieved by now but for the fact that the globalists left open their Achilles heel. With all their tools, Federal Reserve System, fiat currency, no child left behind, and then common core education introduced to our schools to dumb us down, vaccines, pharmaceuticals to lobotomize us, GMO foods, insertion of compromised or bought and paid for politicians, judges, mainstream media propaganda, all pieced together like a puzzle designed to ultimately bring the world under submission. But with all their strategy, they forgot one thing, knowledge and knowledge is power. With knowledge, their bombardment is nullified. Folks, with that, as brilliant and knowledgeable as you've become, among the wisest audience of any radio audience in the world, and you are, I want you to take a moment to reflect and ask yourself, how much of that knowledge did I obtain from Republic Broadcasting Network? How high has my consciousness been raised since I've been a listener? How fast am I now able to discriminate truth from fake news by being a Republic Broadcasting listener? How clear am I now able to see the world since I've been listening to RBN? Ask yourselves those questions, folks. Then ask yourself, what is that knowledge worth to me? Like my morning coffee, how would I survive without it? A voice of truth and a sea of lies. Do we not all need to make sure it survives? Like public broadcasting, we are now finding we can only survive with listener support. Censorship, advertisers being attacked, 
truth itself being attacked. It's the only way through this. We at Republic Broadcasting humbly ask you to become a supporter. Look at your budget and make a determination of what Republic Broadcasting is worth to you and what you can afford on a monthly basis. Go to republicbroadcasting.org and pledge 20, 30, 40, 50, if possible, 100 a month or more if it's affordable. Click the Donate button and become a regular monthly donor. Assure both us and yourself that Republic Broadcasting Truth will continue to flow like that morning coffee. The network thanks you. February is Heart Month. Every year for the month of February, to show our appreciation to Extendivite's faithful customers, we have a sale. If you would like to try Extendivite, now is the time to get a few months ahead and really give Extendivite the time to show you how it works. Most of Extendivite's long-term customers wait for this sale to stock up. People and doctors tell us about the unbelievable improvements that they have experienced in their overall health, not just the heart. Extendivite wants you to experience the power of these herbs. Get a four-month supply for only $115 for either the capsules or tincture. Please take advantage of this once-per-year sale and get healthy for life. To order, call 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com or find us on Amazon. Extend your life with Extend Overnight. Boston, Massachusetts. We are broadcasting live from the Republic Broadcasting Network, where we do tell the truth. And I think all the other hosts will agree. This is a great place to broadcast from. We reach many, and we can tell the truth. In case you are new to this show, my name is Frank Allen, and tonight we discuss a work by Momir Babacek. Joining Targeted Massachusetts is free. No charge, no credit cards. Just go to targetedmassachusetts.org. And at the top of the page, go to Join TM. Please complete the easy registration form. By joining, you receive our newsletter, text updates, and the latest developments in our targeted situation. Donate to Targeted Massachusetts and help us to continue our activism. We are a legal organization in the state of Massachusetts. If you have any questions, call me anytime in the U.S. at 1-508-857-8334. Call into the show live and ask a question at 800 313 9443 or listen at 605 313 that's 800 313 to ask a question or listen at 605 313 For the targeted community, I would like to mention an extremely stellar organization, and that's Targeted Justice. If you'd like to join them in their fight, our fight, against this menace, 
Just go to targetedjustice.com. Up in the left-hand corner, you will see home. Hover over that. You will see meet the team and become a member. Click or, or tick on become a member and you are on your way. That's targetedjustice.com. Targetedjustice.com. Join the fight. Targeted Massachusetts Northeast Conference airs Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Access by phone, 515-604-9715. Access code 708-922-ID, targeted. To access our show by computer, in your address bar, type freeconferencecall.com forward slash wall forward slash targeted. Our YouTube channel is Targeted Massachusetts. We have a chat associated with the show at targetedmass.chatango.com. Today, the Schumann Resonance, for those of you who are keeping track, is at 34 hertz. That's today. The nominal is 7.83 hertz. They say that when the Schumann resonance goes very high, it can have two effects. It can bring madness on some and spiritual enlightenment or enlightenment in general on others. And it's important to understand it. We did a show on it. As a matter of fact, we did, I think, two shows on it. And it's something that you should learn. Okay, folks? We have to go to station identification. We'll be back. Thank you. You are tuned in to the Republic Broadcasting Network. Visit our website by going to republicbroadcasting.org. How would you like to earn an extra $10,000 or more a month from the comfort of your home? We show you how to win with a home-based business opportunity. This could be one of the best financial decisions you ever make. Work from home, full-time or part-time. Plus, you'll never have to talk to anyone. Our professional sales team closes all your sales for you, and you keep 70% of all the sales made. You could be earning money while you're sleeping, shopping, working out, wherever you are, day or night. Our system goes to work for you. You can make a great income without any special computer skills or sales training. Plus, you get paid fast. Within just 24 to 48 hours after our professional sales team closes a sale for you, let us help you eliminate your financial concerns. You could be earning enough money to pay off debt, buy a house, a car, or whatever the case may be. We've got you covered. If you'd like to add an extra $10,000 or more a month to your portfolio, and you would like to know exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it, go now to www.getstartedwithus.com. That's www.getstartedwithus.com. Again, that's www.getstartedwithus.com. How healthy are your arteries? Deteriorating circulation has a number of early warning signs. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, fingers and or toes often go cold. Arms and or legs often go to sleep. Sharp diagonal crease in the earlobe. Short walks cause cramping or pains in legs. Memory is not as good as it used to be. Ankles swell late in the day. 
chest pain after physical exercise or emotional stress. If you experience even one of these symptoms, your circulatory system is crying out for attention. Extendivite is a natural solution to help improve your overall health. Extendivite is not your average heart tonic. To order, call 1-877-928-8822 or visit heartdrop.com or find us on Amazon. Extend your life with Extendivite. Homeowners, are you in foreclosure expecting to be served with a foreclosure lawsuit or suspect your lender has coerced you into an illegal mortgage transaction? A huge number of mortgages made in the last 10 years have legal issues and are possibly defective. State laws and the U.S. Supreme Court have upheld that defective mortgage documents are grounds for foreclosure defense and for counterclaims in favor of the homeowner. If your mortgage has been sold or assigned since closing the loan, it may be defective and you may be paying the wrong party and the lender may not have standing or the right to foreclose or collect payments under the law. If you would like to know if your mortgage is legal or not or know if you are paying the right party, we can help. Our initial consultations are free of charge. We are not attorneys. We are legal researchers and work closely with experienced lawyers who know how to help you find the evidence to help you keep your home. Call toll-free 1-855-2-KEEP-IT. That's 1-855-2-KEEP-IT today. Good evening from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Frank Allen. And welcome to the Republic Broadcasting Network. This evening, we are going over a work by Momir Babacek. His name is frequently seen in targeted literature or papers pertaining to electromagnetic torture. In the scientific community, technical feasibility of inducing sleep in a human being through the use of radio waves is confirmed in a book by a British scientist involved in research on the biological effects of electromagnetism. A report by the World Health Organization on non-ionizing radiation published in 1991 confirms that many of the biological effects observed in animals exposed to ELF fields appear to be associated either directly or indirectly with the nervous system. Among the published experiments, there are those where pulsed microwaves have caused the synchronization of isolated neurons with the frequency of pulsing microwaves. For example, a neuron firing at a frequency of 0.8 hertz was forced in this way to fire the impulses at a frequency of 1 hertz. Moreover, the pulsed microwaves contributed to changing the concentration of neurotransmitters in the brain. This is what they do when they want you to stay awake. They alter what's going on in your brain in terms of waves and neurotransmitters 
and keep you awake. Neurotransmitters are a part of the mechanism which causes the firing of neurons in the brain and reinforcing or attenuating the effects of drugs delivered into the brain. The experiment where the main brain frequencies registered by EEG were synchronized with the frequency of microwave pulsing might explain the function of the Russian installation radio sound. Microwaves pulsed in the sleep frequency would cause the synchronization of the brain's activity with the sleep frequency and in this way produce sleep. Pulsing of microwaves in frequency predominating in the brain at an awakened state could, by the same procedure, deny sleep to a human being. So this paper explains as we go along the beginning of control of the human brain of many in Russia. Although Vladimir Putin recently warned his people to beware of this type of torture. A report derived from the testing program of the Microwave Research Department at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research states, Microwave pulses appear to couple to the central nervous system and produce stimulation similar to electric stimulation unrelated to heat. In a many-time replicated experiment, microwaves pulsed in an exact frequency caused the efflux of calcium ions from the nerve cells. They are, in fact, essential. Calcium plays a key role in the firing of neurons. And Ross Ade, member of the first scientific team which published this experiment, publicly expressed his conviction that this effect of electromagnetic radiation would interfere with concentration on complex tasks. So, fellow targets... Have you ever been trying to do something that was rather complex and just felt stunned? That's the only term that I can associate at this time. And I'm going to assume, and I know that the answer will be yes, Robert Becker, who had a share in the discovery of the effect of pulse fields at the healing of broken bones, published the excerpts from the report from Walter Reed Army Institute testing program. In the first part, prompt debilitation 
effects should have been tested. Were not those effects based on the experiment by Ross Adde and others with calcium efflux? British scientist John Evans, working in the same field, wrote that both Ross Adde and Robert Becker lost their positions and research grants and were called free-thinking exiles. In 1975, in the USA, a military experiment began. The experiment was published where pulsed microwaves produced in the brain of a human subject an audio perception of numbers from 1 to 10. Again, the possibility to convince an individual that he is mentally ill is obvious. The testing program of American Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, where the experiment took place, counts with prompt auditory stimulation by means of auditory effects and finally aims at behavior controlled by stimulation. So what is happening to us is recorded everywhere. We have patents, but we have to have the smoking gun. And I think we have it. Let us assume that the words delivered into the brain were transcribed into ultrasound frequencies. Would not then the subject perceive those same voices as his own thoughts? My answer to that for myself is no. Because it's like your own thoughts have their own serial number. But targets stay on your toes. Don't, while daydreaming, let the perps inject one of these excerpts because they try to lead you on with them. And you can see them and feel them plain as day. And would this not apply or imply that his behavior was being controlled in this way through the transmission of ultrasound frequencies? In this regard, the American Air Force in 1982, in their final report, on biotechnology research requirements for aeronautical systems through the year 2000 states while initial attention should be toward degradation of human performance through loading and electromagnetic field effects subsequent work should address the possibilities of directing and interrogating mental functioning using externally applied fields. Several scientists have warned that the latest advances in neurophysiology 
could be used for the manipulation of the human brain. So we have, I have done many, many shows, and I have quoted and used excerpts from many authors detailing these procedures. We have the bull by the horns. We have the information. We have documents published in their journal by the American psychologist. The technical capability to influence directly the major portion of the approximately six billion brains of the human species without mediation through classical sensory modalities by generating neural information within a physical medium within which all members of the species are immersed is now marginally feasible. And this is a while back. In 1998, the French National Bioethics Committee warned that neuroscience is being increasingly recognized as posing a potential threat to human rights. In May 1999, the Neuroscientists Conference sponsored by the United Nations, took place in Tokyo. Its final declaration formally acknowledges that today we have intellectual, physical, and financial resources to master the power of the brain itself and to develop devices to touch the mind and even control or erase consciousness. We wish to profess our help that such pursuit of knowledge serves peace and welfare. That is a joke. Any time that you can control the minds of men, you control the country in which they live. The targeted individuals in the U.S. and around the world face a serious challenge. And that is to conquer this before it traverses from generation to generation. Okay, folks, we have to go to commercial. Thank you for listening. of being lied to by mass media? It's growing more and more apparent today that news is received less and less through standard media outlets. Even with a growing audience every day, RBN is beginning to direct more efforts into social media. 
Social media and the use of the Internet is fast becoming the primary source of people for news, regardless of demographic. RBN has set out to provide some of the best news on the Internet through republicbroadcasting.org and also has begun to use the tools to our advantage by way of social media. Republic Broadcasting is now operating a Facebook page to function as yet another avenue to have our collective voice reach new audiences across not only America, but across the globe as well. The Facebook page features not only news, but also an RBN player to listen to our broadcast. Get involved by visiting Facebook.com slash Republic Broadcasting and liking our page and share it with your friends and family because you can handle the truth. Homeowners, if your lender has gone out of business or sold your transaction to another lender or servicer, you may be the victim of a wrongful foreclosure resulting in the loss of your home. If you've already lost your home, are in foreclosure, or even in good standing, you can challenge the mortgage transaction's illegal issue and your property can be restored to you. And your foreclosure can be stopped or reversed and the mortgage transaction declared unenforceable. State laws, U.S. title codes, the Uniform Commercial Codes, and U.S. Supreme Court rulings have upheld that defective mortgage documentations can reverse or stop foreclosures and enforce property title claims in favor of the homeowner. We are having successes in stopping the process of foreclosure, the enforcement of the foreclosure judgments, the sale of property, and evictions after the sale. We are not attorneys, and we don't give legal advice. We are a professional team of legal researchers, providing forensic mortgage audits and expert witnesses. We have the knowledge to produce the evidence and enforce laws regarding your legal issues. We've been in business for 12 years without a complaint. Consultations are free, and we provide a free title search to confirm if your mortgage has legal defects. Please call 855-253-3748. 855-2-KEEP-IT-TODAY. Corporate media dominates the American opinion. Finding independent voices that counter this avalanche is becoming increasingly difficult. With the endless corruption running rampant throughout our government, independent voices are needed more than ever to battle the offensive against our freedoms and liberties. As a listener of RBN, no one understands this concept better than you. Now it's up to you to do your part. The time has come for you to take action and begin broadcasting the truth to hundreds or thousands of people every month. Sound impossible? Quite the contrary. With pointed slogans from LibertyStickers.com, you can reach countless sleeping Americans unaware that they live in a real-life wonderland. LibertyStickers.com has a huge inventory of political bumper stickers and messages that reflect the truth about our government, our politicians, and the future of America. With so many in stock, there's one perfect for you. Visit us today at LibertyStickers.com. Again, that's LibertyStickers.com. Do your part. Your voice is important. Let it be heard. Good evening from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Frank Allen. If you've just tuned in, it's really too bad because we're right near the end of our broadcast on the Republic Broadcasting Network. But we are here five nights a week at 10 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Central, obviously, and so on. And we are here to present our case to the public. I represent all of the targeted individuals around the globe. I'm just going to see if I can finish up on a couple of paragraphs, maybe. Uh, Got some notes here to go through. We also have an international political scene that in the last few years, the concept of remote control of the human brain has become a matter of international an intragovernmental negotiation. 
in January of 1999, the European Parliament passed a resolution where it called for an international convention introducing a global ban on all developments and deployments of weapons which might enable any form of manipulation of human beings. Well, why the hell aren't they following it? I can't understand this for the life of me. We have all of these bills passed. We have all of these laws in place. Yet the torture around the world continues. But we are winning. Our numbers are increasing by the day. The technology that tortures us is surfacing everywhere. Very soon, the perps will be surrendering and asking for a deal. I'd like to say good night from Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Frank Allen. Are you in foreclosure, expecting to be served with a foreclosure lawsuit, or suspect your lender has coerced you into an illegal mortgage transaction? A huge number of mortgages made in the last 10 years have legal issues and are possibly defective. State laws and the U.S. Supreme Court have upheld that defective mortgage documents are grounds for foreclosure defense and for counterclaims in favor of the homeowner. If your mortgage has been sold or assigned since closing the loan, it may be defective and you may be paying the wrong party and the lender may not have standing or the right to foreclose or collect payments under the law. If you would like to know if your mortgage is legal or not or know if you are paying the right party, we can help. Our initial consultations are free of charge. We are not attorneys. We are legal researchers and work closely with experienced lawyers who know how to help you find the evidence to help you keep your home. Call toll-free 1-855-2-KEEP-IT. That's 1-855- the number 2, keep it today. You're listening to the Republic Broadcasting Network because you can handle the truth. 